For this video, we're going to take a first impressions look at Copilot Actions. Is it all hype that they said going to turn out to be true? Let's have a quick look at the screenshots that they whiz past and see if Copilot Actions is actually going to be useful at work. Just before we do that, I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director at MeTime, where we help organizations be more efficient, get more out of Microsoft 365. People usually get stronger on Microsoft Teams and SharePoint, OneDrive, OneNote, Lists, Planner, what to use when. We help simplify all of that and get your organization firing on all cylinders. Whether you want to grow or you're struggling at the moment, now is always a good time to be more efficient. So if you're interested in working together, then check out one of the links in the description below. We've got free trainings. Just go straight to book a call, whichever you prefer. But on to Copilot Actions. So this is going to show up within the Microsoft 365 app, as the Microsoft said, which to the nearest round number, zero people use. I go into lots of organizations, and no one goes to Microsoft365.com and does any work from there. So hoping that this app is also going to show up in Teams, which is where probably people do go to do their work. But it promises to be sort of like an easier route in to doing automations from Copilot. So getting AI scheduled to do some things that might be useful for you on a regular basis without you going having to re-prompt it. So in their examples, they've got some templates. So there was one that was catch up, which is regularly summarized communications. There's ask others to complete a task by a deadline, and then there's create a new document from existing files, which might be useful in SharePoint. As they went through the UI, it kind of looked like they've borrowed from, if you've ever done a rule in a SharePoint document library, to say, well, let me know when someone updates this file or you've done some rules in lists, it looks like they've got the same sort of UI as that. So they've got some templates there. And the trouble with Microsoft templates is, especially if you watch my planner video, the templates are never actually very useful. So sometimes they're not a good indication of how useful a feature is gonna be. But obviously this is what they've got in mind to use this new Copilot Actions feature. Like split it down into like catch up, gather information. So if we just have a look through the background, uh, they've got the summarized communications. They do a walk through their demo of uh, sending emails out and collecting information back, which might be useful in some instances. But we'll come on to like whether that's actually intelligent or not, because it is using AI. So we've got recap communications related to a topic. So obviously you can go and prompt that in Copilot right now. If you pay for Microsoft 365 Copilot, you can say, summarize my emails over last week. They summarize my team chats over last week. And this is putting on a schedule to say, well, maybe every Monday, let me know everything that's happened in the past week. But again, you probably don't want to know everything from last week. You just want those things that you might have missed. So like, well, does it know things that you haven't picked up or not? Is it actually going to be intelligent or is it just going to be more noise? If it is useful, I'm always the proponent of like, well, that should just be in the app, the UI of the app. So if it's in Teams, if recapping your Teams communications is useful, that should just be in team. It shouldn't have to come out to Copilot action and create an action to go and do that for you. It should just live there. Same as if summarizing your emails each week or things that you think you've missed is useful. It should just be right there in Outlook rather than having to set up an automation to do it on a weekly basis, say. Let me know what you think in the comments below about Copilot Actions. Are you excited to get your hands on it? Similarly, review Teams messages where I've been mentioned. You can do that on a schedule. Again, if that was useful, that should just live in Teams. It should just be at the top of your messages and just say summarize all the messages I've been at mentioned on and let me just let me do that. I don't want to schedule it. Um, not that it's not useful, but I think this is seems quite early at the moment. They haven't really thought is, is this going to be useful. As Satchin Adela says in his keynote, he thinks the differentiating factor for AI is going to be like the, the user interface. And if that is true, not that I disagree with him, I'm not sure Microsoft are there with their UI into AI at the moment. It seems a bit scattergun approach. It seems like it's it does different stuff in different places. And it's just a bit confusing for a normal person doing a normal job that just wants to get into AI. And if you do, we've got another webinar just to help you get the most out of Microsoft Copilot for free. I'll link that in the description below because a lot of the things, apart from scheduling stuff like Copilot Actions, a lot of the benefits that you can get from Copilot paid right now, you can probably do the same thing in free Copilot, which obviously Microsoft doesn't talk about too much. 
So in the gather, there's collect, synthesize, and share information. So that's it's pulling stuff out and it can email things out for you. Again, once we get off this page and step through the UI, I'm not sure it's 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 intelligent enough to send it to like varying people, whether you're just hard coding it, saying collect this information and send it to Bob. But you can never change Bob. So like you couldn't say collect this information and send it to I guess you can do a distribution list, but you can't say send it to the person that wasn't in the meeting or you know something more intelligent like that. Gather monthly newsletter updates, I guess might be useful if you're scanning your inbox for it and don't have to go through every single newsletter. Uh, compile questions from team meetings. Again, you can already do that in a prompt, but this is scheduling it um, and request feedback on a document. I'm not sure why you'd wanna schedule that. Probably a bit more useful where it's actually doing something for you that you wouldn't do, like taking an action out of Copilot. Here's an example where it's saying assigned required training to people. So I'm not sure when that might help with onboarding, uh, or when it knows that they should assign training to people or whether you can do that already in a HR system that you might use. Um, ask for survey responses. Again, it's, it's not obvious where these are going to be useful and then create so draft an executive brief you can do on a schedule prepare a detailed agenda on a schedule create a newsletter to share on a schedule i'm not sure you would want to schedule those things rather than just do it when you're doing the work so here's the ui as an example of the ui of once you get into that automation the gather one it's going to message people to collect something and then send a summary back to you by whichever method you want by a certain date. So here's where it, it could actually be a little bit useful. So say you ran a project meeting, rather than having the meeting, you could just get AI to say, well, give me all your updates or blockers. People send them back, AI collates it all, summarizes it, and then you've got your summary and you can send it off to the grown-ups that are above you that need to know the project update. But again, it's like you're selecting which people to message so it doesn't look like you can just do like the project team or send a message into a team's channel or a group chat. I'm not sure. It's like you're adding individual people. And if those people change, then you have to change the automation, I guess. But obviously, it's quite a simple UI. Then you're telling it in plain text what you want to collect the information of. So I presume that's just going to be a header and send a summary over email and it's saying you know how often the ship should repeat you can do it weekly in this example and then it drafts out the sort of automation so presumably it's using power automate in the background it didn't say that it was going to message them in teams i don't think from the previous screen but it's going to send messages to these people here's the message which is done from you know generative AI. So it's like, I'm gathering status updates on project, blah, 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 based on just that text we put in to share with our leadership team. We didn't add that. AI has decided that we're going to share with the leadership team. And you want to send the updates, blah, 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 blah. So it's going to collect messages in Teams and then send you a summary of email, which I don't agree with because you should be using internal email if you're using Teams properly. Uh, but that's another aside. So then you create it and it it goes out, sends them a message. It's got an individual chat and it's got a space for them to respond. So maybe that's why it's gone into Teams by default to collate the information and not an email because I'm not sure it'd be able to ingest that information back and miss out all of the replies and stuff on a long email thread. I think that's making it easier for the AI. But this person you know, writes in what they've been up to, and then AI's collated all that information, assuming more than one person's filled it in, in an email, and added it as a loop component, which you may or may not want, but that's how it's done it. So it's collated it, and it showed you where it's got the information from, so you can sort of go back and check that it's done it okay, like you would see in normal Copilot, where it's got the citations, you can click it. So it's pretty clever, but it's yet to be seen whether it's really useful but I'm excited to play around with it and see. And if you want to know more about Copilot Agents, if the video is out by the time you watch this one, then check out this video next. If not, it'll be a video that YouTube thinks you might like.